How's it going, folks? I'm Des with Desfit, and uh, I definitely went down another rabbit hole with this video. So the new Apple Watch Series 7 now comes with faster charging using a new USB-C charging cable where you'll be able to charge it from empty to full in about an hour. And although we still didn't see longer battery life out of the Series 7 where I'm getting about a day to day and a half out of it, just like the Series 6, the faster charging definitely makes things a lot more convenient. So now after about 24 hours of use, I only have to place the Series 7 on the charger for maybe 30 to 45 minutes to get me through another day, where with previous generation Apple Watches, I'd usually have to place them on the charger for at least an hour. I know it may not sound like a big deal, but when you have to charge your watch every day to day and a half, it definitely makes things a lot more convenient. But I was curious, actually quite a few people are curious, including my YouTube friend Matt Legrand, who also does sports tech reviews, if the new USB-C charging cable will charge previous generation Apple Watches any faster than the older generation USB type A charger. So over the last week or so, I've been charging and draining and charging and draining all these Apple Watches that I have in front of me from the Series 3 all the way to the Series 7 and all the models in between to see if that USB-C charging cable makes any difference. Difference. Now, just to give you an idea of how I conducted these tests, I went ahead and charged all these watches to full first, and then I used a flashlight to drain them until they're completely empty. And then I waited about 12 hours or so before I placed them back on the charger. And I thought that was the most fair way of creating kind of an even playing ground in terms of any residual battery life that may be remaining on each of the watches. And I did make sure to charge them with both the USB type C as well as the older USB type A charger, just to give some true real life comparisons of the charging times. And I did find out something rather interesting about charging the Series seven with the older USB type A charger. So definitely hang out till the end of the video for that little tidbit. Oh, and really quick before we get started, if you find the information in this video useful, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button down below. It's a small little thing that you can do that'll help this video and the channel a lot quite a bit and I appreciate it. Okay, so let's start out with the baseline. So here's the Series 7 on the new USB Type-C charger, and from empty, it took about 10 minutes to get enough charge to turn on, and then all in all, it took just over an hour to get a full charge. Okay, so now that we have a baseline, let's check out how the USB-C charger works with previous generation or Apple Watches, and we'll first start with the Series 3. So with the Series 3, it took about 12 minutes to get enough charge to turn on, and then to get a full charge, it took about an hour and 51 minutes. And then with the older USB Type-A charger, it took two hours and 15 minutes to charge the Series 3. And by the way, I've tested with both the 5 watt as well as a 20 watt power adapter using the older USB type A cable and it doesn't seem to make any difference at all in terms of the charging time. So the charging times are definitely regulated by the cable itself. But it was kind of interesting to see with the Series 3 that I did see a slightly faster charging time with the USB type C charger versus the USB type A. Not like leaps and bounds faster but a smidge faster. So now onto the Series 4, and just to note that this is an original Series 4 that's a few years old now, but it took just four minutes to turn on. And then all in all, it took about an hour and 47 minutes to fully charge. And with the USB type A charger, it took an hour and 50 minutes. So basically kind of a wash with the Series 4. And then with the Series 5, it was very similar to the Series 4 where it took about seven minutes to turn on and then right around two hours to charge in full. And with the USB type A charger, it was basically identical at right around two hours. So now onto the Apple Watch SE. And with the SE, it took about 10 minutes for it to turn on and then it took about an hour and 35 minutes to get a full charge with the USB type C charger. And then with the USB type A charger, it took an hour and 38 minutes. So again, kind of a wash. Now, what's interesting about the SE is that Apple claims on their website that the SE charges from empty to full in about two and a half hours. But from all the testing I did in this video, as well as the Apple Watch battery testing extravaganza video that I did last year, the Apple Watch SE seems to charge in like an hour and a half, regardless of the new charger or the old charger. But what's also interesting is that the Apple Watch SE that I bought last year came with the older USB type A charger. But what I noticed on Apple's website is that if you purchase the SE today, it actually does come with a new USB-C charging cable, but just not of the fast charging variety that you get on the Series 7, but it doesn't seem to make any difference in terms of charging times anyways. Okay, so now onto the Series 6, and with the new USB Type-C charger, it took an hour and 35 minutes, which I suppose is expected. And then with the USB Type-A charger, it took a little bit longer for some reason, right around an hour and 43 minutes. So unfortunately, the new USB Type-C charger doesn't seem to make much of a difference in terms of charging times with previous generation Apple Watches, although we did see a little bit of a difference with the Series 3, but still, with either cable, it's still right around Apple's claim of two hours. But now let's get to that part I was talking about earlier with the Series 7 with the older USB Type-A charger. So the Series 6, which came with the USB Type-A charger, charges to full in about an hour and a half. So with the Series 7, if I place that on the same charger, it should be about the same, right? 
Well, I was incredibly surprised by what I found with the Series 7. So here's the first test that I did with the USB Type-A charger, and it took two hours and 14 minutes to charge it to full. Of course, this surprised the heck out of me, so I tested it again on this next test, same deal, two hours and 10 minutes. And trust me, at this point, I was just as confused as maybe you are right now, so I went ahead and just tested this again with a completely different power brick as well as cable, and the charging time still was over two hours. So that's just something to be aware of. If you own a Series 7, you do have one of the older USB USB type A chargers laying around is that the charging times between the USB type C charger and the USB type A charger are drastically different. So there's likely some different internals inside that make the Series 7 very well optimized for the new USB type C charger, but not very optimized for the older USB type A charger. But once again, I do have to say that the faster charging times on the Series 7 definitely make a difference, at least for me. So yeah, that's my uh, Apple Watch battery life testing rabbit hole that I dove down this year. And if you found the information in this video to be useful, don't be shy about hitting that like button down below. Oh, and also, hop over to Matt Legrand's channel where he does everything sports tech just like my channel. He's got some great content and some killer filmmaking skills and he's definitely worth a watch. And of course, as usual, have fun with your fitness and we will see you in the next video.